That Gospel is, uh, to me, utterly bizarre and fascinating. And why does anybody put up with that? Right. I'm not saying all no, all I've Indian immigrants are this way. I'm just it. saying you look at the roster of you know who's leading the programs. You know the endless number of Thanks programs the where they talk sand. about I am at work diversity and racism and all the racism that people have to encounter and medicine and how racist medicine is and all this. And you see these brown faces, or you see these Asian faces, and you think, I mean, literally, you think, P -P -P so you're coming marks. from Not your country, marks, which you're implying it has you know, a is equal system. or better <laughs> than our country. <laughs> literally. And you're telling us how awful we are. Well, what's the explanation for that? I mean, when did you come from your country to America? You know what I mean? There's no... There's no one that uh, Tucker Carlson considers to be a legacy American. Everyone came to America at some point. You can laugh all you want, Tucker, but like, you know, you don't belong here either. What a ridiculous, what a fucking ridiculous assertion. Like, oh, uh, to, add to, the, to add to the fact that like, it's also even worse... Uh, makes it even worse by by you know uh, following up uh, or doubling down with the with the idea that like you know if you're coming from one of these brown countries like you're not allowed to have an opinion on what happens in America. China's an ethno state, by the way, which of no course. one ever says. It's about the Han Chinese, and if you're not, that's that's the problem with the Uyghurs. That's their religion. They're not Han Chinese. Whatever. I'm not even judging. I'm just saying. Yeah, Tucker's like I'm not even judging. I like it. <laughs> Tucker's like we need to Hanify America. You know, with legacy Americans. The Hanification protocols are very good, actually, if I do say so myself. After all, diversity is not their strength. Why should it be ours? People from there have no right to judge the United States. But they, they very much feel that they do. And so take, you know, the Brahmin women who come from India and they climb the ladder. They get the best education. We give them every opportunity. And they turn around and lead the charge on, on we're, we're racist, we're an awful country, we need reform. That Our medical can. system need, needs reform. Well, here's the problem. They're taught that they are better than everybody else because they are Brahmin elites. And yet, on some This is so wild. Like, first of all, the worst part about this is that, like, she already identifies exactly why, um, like for example, like Asian immigration or the way we understand Asians overperforming is the model minority when we never like think about, I don't know, Vietnamese immigrants in that category uh, and exclusively think about like uh, wealthier, wealthier immigrants that are able to come here, like the children of wealthier immigrants that are able to come here to, to get a college education which completely destroys like the model minority myth or uh, why it's not comparable to, for example, uh, black people, right? She gets, she, she understands like part of it, but then turns it into an incredibly racist fucking take. Does she seriously think that the caste system is as important as education or capital wealth is today? Some level, their country is a shithole. Excuse my language. No, yeah. Okay. It, it's not providing them with the opportunities that they feel that they deserve and which in many cases they they do deserve they come here and they see that we have this wonderful developed scientific and medical establishment which they haven't managed to create uh Hassel, Hassel. yo i hate i hate her so much especially because like she thinks she's so right dude what the fuck Oh, it's oh my god! I I I I have fucking chills right now from how nuclear grade cringe she is. You know she's not alone in her opinions, okay? You know she's been surrounded by other academics who also keep like fucking huffing uh, her farts and telling them they're rosy. Like no one gets to this degree of confidence about like their their idiotic and, and horribly outdated and horribly racist and wrong opinions. Okay, I need to. I can't just say something is racist and move on. I have to also describe to you why it's wrong, obviously, right? Because there are still people who would be like, "Aha! Why aren't you addressing her arguments instead?" Owned. Even if that was the case, that these you know shithole countries 
do not have like the same established science and established scientific and medical uh, systems, okay? Which, especially if you're talking about wealthy Indian well, people, or if you're talking about wealthy Chinese time. people, or especially, if she mentioned China, that's a whole different ballpark, but, uh, you know, they have that. They have access to the exact same, um, uh, the exact same systems. Even when, even when uh, certain countries are, are left behind, it's not a consequence of their culture. It's a consequence of being dominated by us. Being dominated by us for centuries. And, not, and, and deliberately being kept behind. Uh, they realize that, you know, we've outgunned and outclassed them in practically every way. And what do they feel? Well, they're a very proud people. They're a shame culture. And they feel anger, they feel envy, they feel shame. I think... <laughs> Dude, my favorite thing is whenever people just go down that rabbit hole of, like, their psychotic ideas. And instead of ever questioning them, because she has, like, very clearly, uh, very clearly just, like, grounded in her position and will not change it. That she has, like, secondary assertions that she's launching off of it. Like, they're just jealous. Yeah, dude. That's, that's what it is, dude. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, the, the anger that people might feel towards, like, an imperial superpower simply is rooted within jealousy. Oh, my God. It's just, that's where it comes from. It can never be a legitimate grievance, okay? That's half a year. Yeah, the anger that the people feel... Uh, at, uh, you know, America's imperialism, for example, or Western colonialism, which uh, has kept a lot of these countries uh, in, in worse conditions overall, regardless of wherever they may have been uh, in, in different parts of history. It's just people like her that manifest or, or humanize, Mr. basically, Mr. become a human asshole. face for that kind of idiotic... Western supremacist attitude that is incredibly frustrating. Like, when I see that, I get so mad. And it's not about projection or jealousy. It's that you're disgusting. You're a freak. You're wrong. And you're, you're not only wrong, but you think you're so right in how wrong you are. And not only that, but you've also decided that you're, you're making, like, secondary and third inferences off of your originally completely incorrect and fundamentally wrong and, and uh, antiquated attitude. The role of, of envy and shame in the way that the third world regards the first world is underestimated. I think you're exactly right. Yeah. I think you're exactly It's never right. talked about. Yeah, it's never talked about. No one ever says they hate us because they ain't us, you know? No one ever says that. That's not like a the most common conservative point. She's such a brave truth teller for just making shit up. Of course, when you ask her why America is uh, in the state that it's in, it's because our workforce has been feminized, okay? Because we've lost our, our bourgeois culture. I've never actually heard someone promote like bourgeois attitudes and bourgeois decadence in a positive light like she has. She just, it, it's like she's the reverse uh, Marxist, you know what I mean? She looked at it and was like, all that stuff about a, a, a bourgeois dictatorship is good, actually. No, and you've been um, really penalized for talking, talking about it. And it creates well ingratitude of the most monstrous kind. I feel like asking some of these people, like, why did you leave your country? Why are you here? Um, I Have you asked that? Uh, well, it would be considered not just a microaggression, Tucker. It would be considered a macroaggression. You don't ask people that sort of thing. Why don't they ask her why she left her country, huh? What happened there? Why is she in Why are you in America? Also, she's definitely asked that question. You know she has. It's interesting. I wonder what she would say. Why? Well, I, I mean, mean if I would. If you're born I here. Would. Not by choice, honestly. Yeah, no shit. Is that Indian? Oh, immigrants don't have freedom in their chest. Right, you have but... absolutely a right to say, you know, I think most Americans have complicated feelings about immigration. I'm speaking for myself, but like you, my best friend's an immigrant who I godfather my first child. I mean, I really love, there are a lot of impressive. 
one of the good ones, though, I, I suspect. Right, Tucker? Immigrants much more impressive than I am, and I think everyone's for that. But part of the deal is... Yeah, the white ones, you know, that have freedom in their heart, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Or ones that understand that there needs to be a WASP nationalist hierarchy in this country. Only then are they allowed. So I'm going to be like, one of my best friends is an immigrant. Twice removed, actually. An immigrant to Argentina originally by way of his grandparents. And then another immigrant from Argentina to America. I'd go so far as to call Wilhelm a Latin American immigrant. And yet, Americans don't want this kind of Latin American immigration from happening. Just because his last name is Himmler Tucker does not change the reality that he loves America and Argentina and also Germany. Not the new Germany. The Germany that was powerful. A Germany from a time when... A brave Austrian leader simply wanted to make Germany great again. Nobody's, what's going on? Nobody's talking about this. You know, you don't show up in someone else's country and like start attacking them, right? I mean, that's just bad manners. Why can't you say that? Yeah, no, I, I think that's a very valid. <laughs> that's just bad manners. Bro, it's so telling because it's like all they do is badmouth America. All Republicans do is badmouth America, but the way that they badmouth America is the appropriate way to badmouth America. When you say like America's under attack, the real America is not a uh, is not a diverse one. The real America has racial purity, but their way of attacking America is is the appropriate way. So like obviously that's the more American approach. Start attacking them, right? I mean that's just bad manners. Why can't you say that? Yeah, no, I, I think that's a very valid point. And I'm not, I'm not talking about all immigrants. You know, funding the, uh, the Nicaraguan rebels. Uh, overthrowing numerous countries. You know, that stuff is good manners. That's right. A lot of liberals nowadays would go so far as to say that arming Contras is wrong. I thought that brown people also had a right to arm themselves. What's going on? Why are we only allowing the white countries to do genocide? Why can't sometimes brown countries also engage in their very own kind of uh, uh, purges? That's just brown power. What's going on? No, I, I get it. No, I think, I think I, what I'm amazed are. at is, you know, how some of the people in the leadership class behave and how they get away with it and how no one well, really calls it, them that's on. What it. Well, that's what it is. And it does feel like, yeah, because, I mean, I know, uh, yeah. I know an awful lot of the kind of people you're talking about and, like, all the ones I know, like, love America, you know, more than many Americans do, including my best friend, who's, like, the most patriotic person I've ever met. But, but I want to know who Tucker Carlson's best friend is. When they criticize America, they're criticizing uh, America as straying away from its values. But isn't it the point of a democracy to change it when people see fit? Well, yeah, I don't think they like democracy, my friend. Oh, God, she's so fucking... Oh, God, she's so annoying and, and awful. Ugh. It's wild that I watch Tucker Carlson and then think, like, someone other than Tucker Carlson is worse than Tucker Carlson in a frame where that person is next to Tucker Carlson and she was able to do that. Congratulations to Amy Wax for straight up coming off worse than America's number one WASP nationalist propagandist.